Then what I have discovered is that some, when they get converted with <coughs> care and Bible teaching and rigorous friendship, in fact, really may revert and become heterosexuals. They may. But that percentage, in my experience, has been small. Some remain homosexual in orientation all the days of their life. But they find their self-identity not in their sexuality, but in Christ Jesus, and are happy to remain celibate for Jesus' sake. The closest analogy I can think of is I've been married to my wife now for 37, almost 38 years. But supposing six months after we had got married, she had been paralyzed in some terrible motor accident, but remained in a semi-vegetative state for the next 35 years. Would I have the right to remarry? To sleep around? No, no, for Jesus' sake, because my identity is not finally in the marriage, nor even in my favorite wife, nor in sex, nor in heterosexuality, but in Jesus, therefore I will be content and rejoice in the celibacy of those years. I think there are some homosexuals who are converted who take that stance. I could introduce you to some. And there are still others who, with the care of a thoughtful church and wise pastors, let's take a male homosexual, and a really wonderful, godly woman actually enter into a heterosexual marriage, have children, have tight intimacy, but will still tell you if they stray from Jesus, where their imagination and their fantasy is going is still on the homosexual side. And they live with that with what degree of faithfulness they can muster by the grace of God under the gospel until resurrection bodies in the new heaven and the new earth. These are extraordinarily complex issues. I have no doubt that God can, poof, change things. But in my experience of people who are converted, that's the gamut of things that I see 